Hello and welcome back to the Project Hercules Diaries where once again we are deploying the latest CAD technology and if you've seen previous videos on the channel you'll know that stands for cardboard aided design so I have already made a cover in pre-patinaed I might patent that term actually pre-patinaed when we opened the, uh, the online shop and we made our first million or billion or whatever uh, I'll be selling a, a range of pre-patinaed items so pre-patinaed is the cover for the um, side engine plates at the rear and I intend to do the same sort of thing here that's just a cardboard mock-up for a cover of that round tube that nobody seems to like that pokes up particularly Bob he particularly doesn't like it uh, so the idea is that this will be um, either side of the plates and underneath here is the electric control box there is room for it it's sat under there now underneath here is the Boyer Branston control unit there is a path down and up the front for the front wiring and out of the back here there'll be a hole in the back to come up here for the rear wiring and it should look rather neat it is a little bit boxy i don't like the square boxiness of it but not sure what i can do about that the only thing that isn't or hasn't been able to fit under there is the uh, voltage regulator so that will probably just go on the back there Oops something like that when we're done so we're going to mock this uh, knock this up now in a bit of tin see if we can pre-patina that as well and drop it on and see how it fits together but that's generally how it's going to look most of this you won't see because it's under the tank it's a nice flat spot possibly potentially to engrave something i don't know uh, but work in progress right let's knock this up now and see how it looks well that's how it looks um I've got to say, I'm really not liking that much. It just looks like a box. Um, just looks like a big, square, horrible box. Um, and it's going to be quite difficult to get all the gaps absolutely right and fine. And knowing how my brain works, I will only ever be able to see the bit where that gap is slightly bigger than that gap whenever I look at the bike even though it's more or less hidden under the tank um so I'm gonna have to sleep on that I think the jury is out let's have a pop around the other side that is the other side and again it just looks quite boxy it might just be because it's all the same color and it's a big expanse of the same pre-patinaed color so I'm going to put a, a cap screw in there and the same on the other side. I won't need to slot any of this because the whole thing will move backwards. If we need to tension the primary drive, move the whole gearbox back, it's these plates that will slide back. And if I've tapped this plate and put a little M6 cap screw in there, uh, that should be in either side. That should be enough to hold it. And this will slide and that piece isn't attached to this. And there's a good degree of overlap there for sort of waterproofing. So, I mean, everything's going to be in there. Everything's going to be more or less out of the elements. It's not completely waterproof, but it's not going to get soaked and sprayed. Um, yeah, I might just drop the tank on, see how it looks with the tank on. And uh, I'm going to have to sleep on that because I, I may just have to throw it all in the bin and do, well, not all of it, this bit in the bin and do something else. Because, um, yeah, and I, I don't want it to be uh, rattly because there's a propensity for that kind of thing to rattle. So I have to rubber mount bits of it. But um, yeah, as I say, work in progress. Let's see if I can get the tank on. Ah, yeah, that's a relief. It fell on. I think the concern was that because there isn't much clearance now between the tank and the top of the electrics box, my concern was that I might need that space to drop the tank just to get it out and get it in. I do need to take the um, filler cap off to get it out and in, so it is quite tight, but I didn't have to take um, that cog uh, off the starter because I thought I might have to take that off just to get the tank in and out, but no, that's, that's gone in quite well. And I suppose from a distance, you don't really see that box underneath there. Perhaps I'm being a little bit... Um, a little bit picky yeah maybe i'm being a little bit precious about the whole thing i don't know anyway i'll keep working on it i'm going to go sleep on that uh, and see what i think in the morning but uh, if you've got any better ideas please do let me know um, because it's the last thing to hide is the electrics and the electrics box uh, before we're really kind of ready to start it and ride it wow I still don't know whether to be proud of it or scared of it. Anyway, that's it for tonight. As usual, thank you for watching and more updates will follow.